What a beautiful day today. Oh my gosh, the sun is shining and I am feeling good. How's it going everybody on YouTube? EXO just coming at you here doing some miscellaneous stuff on the inside of the house. As usual, my back is breaking because these past few days I've been just trying to get the subwoofers finished wired up on the inside of the house. I've had one problem come up after another, some that have caused me to wait like 24 hours or more. I had a batch of goop, the adhesive to put down that spider pack didn't even cure. It was like all gloopy and nasty after 24 hours. So I had to take it out, put more glue down. So that's been a definitely a big delay for the main channel extravaganza blowing up all the subwoofers. I've had, you know, lots of comments come my way, but it's going to be a fun time. And don't worry, we're not going to heat these things up enough to really lose magnific magnification, magnetization. So really there's nothing to worry about. So let's hop in there and show you guys what we're doing right now is the pop test. We're using a little 12 volt battery because there's so many 18s but it's a really helpful trick that I guess not that many people know about but I thought everybody knew about it so here's a video just in case you didn't know about it using a little uh, DC battery to test the polarity of your subs or speakers so let's hop in there and show you what we're doing now before we open the door you remember from last time we just showed you guys all the subs laid out and none of them were wired well finally they are all wired up and it took quite the bit to uh, get them all figured out because you know obviously these are dual uh, quad coils quad like 1.2s these are dual 1.4s so we have them all wired up to a vibe audio 10k amplifier and there's the heater that we have pointed at the suspension of this one because of the glue not drying so hopefully by the end of today this is the second time putting the glue down hopefully it'll be cured it takes 24 hours each time so this is the second time I've been like wanting to do this video but one thing pops up after another and uh, yeah let me turn Turn the lights on for you here get the whole station but it does add a degree of uh complexity to it because sometimes the camera like doesn't agree with it like it overexposes stuff uh kind of like right now how the background's a little overexposed and my hand is like that but uh it takes a little bit of working around so here's all eight 18s holy crap guys here's our little station that we set up for filming i'll give you a quick rundown of that Here's the battery we're using to do the pop test. Here's our leads going into all of our subs. We have dual going in. Then everything's just all wired up in the center with smaller wires uh, going up like that. And then here's our media center. This is what we're gonna use for playing the tones for the test video coming up. Here's our uh, uh, motor, uh, excuse me, our meter that's gonna be testing the voltage coming out of our amplifier. Here's a meter testing the voltage from our batteries, which right now we should be resting anywhere between like 12.9 something volts. Right there, 12.99 volts. And we actually hooked up two more batteries to our usual test station just because this amplifier can suck up so much juice. In fact, it requires four inputs, but since you know we don't have any adapters, we're gonna have to do this and wire up to two ohms, about 1.5 actually. So we'll be able to hear the music coming from right there, blah, 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 there's the whole test station. And here is where we test the polarity of the subs. Now everything should be all wired up correctly, uh, with these things right here. So I'm going to set the camera up over here. Now what this what this does is it sends a current to the coils only in one direction, direct uh, current. So it will either pull the coils down or it will push them up. The, uh, what the idea here is, is to have them all matching. So in a perfect world, they're all working together and not against each other. We're just gonna pick, it doesn't matter which one's positive or which one's negative, they're all gonna move respectively uh, anyways. So I'm gonna take my positive wire right here and my negative wire, and I'm just gonna literally connect it to the battery and see which direction these subs move in. Here we go, ready? One. Make sure I'm not touching the wires here. One, two, three. See that? Look at that. They are all moving together. See them popping up? So, technically, all of these are wired correctly and they're in phase. Now, ideally, you want everything to be in phase when it's in an install, so they're working together. But when you're in a house right now, it would be really helpful if these four were pushing in and these four were uh, pulling out. That way, it would kind of cancel each other out so I don't shake 
the house to pieces. Oh, and here's my microphone that's going to be uh, recording all of the mayhem coming from down here. But do you know what I'm saying? So having these four move opposite of these four would really make it easier on my house. But there is no way I'm gonna switch the polarity now because it took me, and I'm not exaggerating, at least a couple hours to wire up all these subs uh, because you know there's four voice coils here, four voice coils there, there's eight, eight plus 12. That's friggin' 20 voice coils all wired to one amplifier. So it took some time and I was hunched over for hours uh, just trying to get it all done. So here's where we're at guys. I just wanted to give you a quick rundown of why the video hasn't been published. I'm just, you know, dealing with not cure, like I don't know why the goop didn't freaking cure the E6000, I should say. It wasn't goop, it was E6000. Have you guys ever dealt with that where I guess you don't check the expiration date. I didn't even I didn't even think to do that, but it's happened. I've seen it uh, posted a few different times on Facebook, so it's not the end of the world. But there we are, guys. Just a quick little update. I will be getting this video out guaranteed by next week, so don't uh, don't worry. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Wish me luck. Woo